clearer, wider field of view. There we go. Oh, that is so much better. That's with the effect off. This is with the effect on. It's just better. It's just brighter. The lighting's better. Better looking Mass Effect, in my opinion. Things do start to look quite nice. And as we look at Rex here, we can see nice level of details, nice lighting and sort of nice smooth edges on the shapes. Mass Effect is finally here and of course it brings heaps of awesome improvements to the old series to make them modernized for the modern platforms. However, there is still some stupid oversights which are really frustrating for most veteran gamers, especially the field of view or FOV. Things are still very tight, it's a very narrow field of view and to be honest, I hate it. Now, the Mass Effect Legendary Edition does not include any in-game graphic sliders for changing your field of view, but of course, mods are here to the rescue. So let's quickly dive in and see how you can use a mod to improve your visual experience. So we're going to head over to the Nexus Mods site. This is where you find all the good mods for, for most games. In particular, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. And if you search in the mod section, you'll see one of the top mods is better camera, higher FOV. I'll also have links in the description. Now, the description and the instructions are pretty straightforward. We just need to grab a particular file and replace it in our game directory. There's different versions for each game. And if we come to the files section, you can see that there's a different field of view value to choose from. I always like a nice high FOV. So we're going to go with um, Mass Effect 1. 100 field of view, download. Save it to your preferred directory. Unzip the file using your favorite unzipper. There we go, this is the file we need to replace in our game directory. So we're just going to copy that. Then you've got to navigate to your game's install directory. Mass Effect Legendary Edition, in my case. Mass Effect 1, bio game, cooked PC console. Now we're just gonna find the original file. Here it is here. Let's just rename it to make a backup copy in case we don't like it or we break it. And then right clicking on white space, we're going to paste in the file we copied before. Here we go, here's our new coalesced file. There's the old one, relaunch the game. Okay, so we're back in game now. As you can see, we're still pretty tight, not much change, but if we hit the F10 key, we should get a nice clearer, wider field of view. There we go, oh, that is so much better. This is a much more enjoyable experience, much easier for combat and easier playability in my opinion. Okay, so Mass Effect Legendary Edition does look pretty good, but I think we can do even better using DirectX reshader plugins. And I'm gonna show you how. Now I love modding games with graphics mods, especially for old games, and reshader plugins just enhance the lighting as the nice cherry on top of that cake. So we come across to nexusmods.com into the Mass Effect Legendary Edition section. The mod we're gonna to use today is called Mass Effect HDR and Realism. First thing we're gonna do is go get the reshader plugin. Now there's a link on the mod page for that as well. So we go to reshade.me, come down to the download, download reshade installer. Just download it to your favorite downloads directory, wherever you like. Now just launch the downloaded file. Click the top button to select a game and manage its installation. It's going to search through your computer for various games and stuff. Let's just cut straight to the chase. Hit browse. Browse to your Mass Effect installation directory. Game. Mass Effect 1. Binaries. Win64. Mass Effect 1. Open. Mass Effect 1 uses the DirectX 11 libraries. So we're going to hit the second option here. Direct 3D 10, 11, 12. If you've already got Reshade installed, you might get prompted with this. If you haven't got it installed, it'll just install. But anyway, we're gonna update it. Leave the default tick boxes here. Some people untick these and that will cause it not to work. Make sure you leave these ticked. Just hit okay. It'll download some default, uh, some default FX shader plugins. Just go okay, leave to default. Set up with successful as we can see here. Okay, let's head back to the mod page and download Metzli's Reshader config. Go to files. Manual download. Yes, we've already installed Reshade, so we're good to go. Save it to your favorite downloads directory. Unzip. Now opening up the zip, we're going to just grab these files here. I'm going to copy those. Head to your Mass Effect installation directory. 
Mass Effect 1, binaries, Win64, and this is where the Mass Effect launching binaries and DirectX DLLs are. We're going to paste these in here. If they ask you about overwriting, that's okay. This is just going to overwrite some of the existing reshade files. It will not overwrite any of the actual game files. Now reloading back into your game, you'll see the reshade banner at the top of the screen. To interact with that, just press the home key. We can skip the tutorial. We want to go up to the top drop down here, search for the one we just downloaded, which is HDR plus denoise, select, and we are loaded. Now, if you like, you can also bind a hotkey to stop and start the effect if you're wanting to check the comparison or it's not working properly. The default home button is the overlay key. That's what we've loaded here. The second one is going to be toggling the effect. I like to bind it to end. You can bind it to whatever you like. And we can just escape out of that. And here we are, we're in. So now, oh, let's first load the FOV that we did in our last video. That's much better. And then you can see here, it's not a huge difference, but it is noticeable. That's with the effect off. This is with the effect on. And to be honest, I can't not use reshade effects anymore. It's just, it's just better. It's just brighter. The lighting's better. There's going to be other reshade effects that are released by modders. You can choose others if you like. The reshade procedure is the same as what we've just done here. This is a much brighter and better looking game in my opinion. I hope you like it too. Give it a go. Let me know how it goes. The game itself doesn't actually offer any advanced graphic tuning for those that might like to manually tune a little bit more customization in their graphic settings. But what we can do is if you have an Nvidia graphics card, we can go into the Nvidia control panel and force it that way. So get to your NVIDIA control panel, either by through the start menu or right clicking on the desktop. And within the control panel, you want to come into here to manage 3D settings and then come across to program settings. This is where you can set driver profile overrides for each individual application. Now what you want to do is add in the Mass Effect game. If it shows up in this list already, great. If it's not showing up here, that's okay. Or if you just want to be doubly sure, just click on browse, navigate to your games install folder. Here we are, Mass Effect Legendary, game, Mass Effect 1, binaries, Win64, Mass Effect 1.exe. Now you don't want to be messing with all the settings in here, but there are a few that can give you some nice little subtle enhancements. First one we're going to tackle is image sharpening. We're going to put that to on and just leaving the default settings. If you mess with it too much, things can come a bit speckly or noisy. An isotropic filtering for textures here, yeah, let's crank that up to eight times. FX anti-aliasing, let's crank that on. Anti-aliasing is what smooths the edges of shapes so they don't look all jagged on screen. So let's go to anti-aliasing mode. Let's enhance the application setting and let's bump this up to eight times. Depending on your graphics card and your resolution you're running at the game at, you might need to choose a different value if you start losing frame rates. I like to do the same for transparency. Let's come down to multi-frame sampled anti-aliasing, chuck that on. Extra filtering, let's put that on high quality. Triple buffering, yes please. That should be good for now, so we just hit apply and launch back into the game. Now it only introduces a subtle difference and slight enhancements, but when we couple it with our reshade plugin and our FOV mod, things do start to look quite nice. And we can sort of see there's no jagged edges or very, very few jagged edges on shapes and outlines. The lighting's improved, the texture qualities are improved, and we've still got a nice silky smooth frame rate because we've got, you know, a modern machine running an older game. And as we look at Rex here, we can see nice level of details, nice lighting and sort of nice smooth edges on the shapes. So there's very, very little jagged appearances showing up. But anyway, I hope this helps you out. Hope you get a bit more quality and enjoyability out of the game. Please give this video a subscribe and a like for more game info and tips and happy gaming. Thank you.